Okay, awesome stuff. Welcome once again. Welcome to the Wednesday live training session with me, Real Mubego. Guys, uh, let's get into the session and uh, let's look at what's going on all around the world, especially on the news first. So today is more like a big day for the Canadian dollar. Uh, it's a big day. Why? We have interest rate decision coming out at 4 p.m. South African time. That's very, it's going to be something huge. Now, if you look at uh, what's happening today, or according to the inflation that we are having, I am expecting, you know, the Bank of Canada to increase interest rates at least by, you know, 50 basis points, if not uh, 75, you know. Uh, this afternoon, we are going to get uh, to hear from the Bank of Canada to see what's going on uh, according to, you know, what's going on in uh, their interest rates uh, this uh, coming month. Okay, cool. Uh, also looking at uh, the American market, we do have the core CPI, which is the consumer price index that is coming out at half past two this afternoon. So it's going to be a, a big one also. Uh, now, looking at the numbers and the expectation, uh, the expectation is that the market is going to come, you know, the expectation is that uh, the steps is going to remain at 0.6% uh, for the consumer price index. But let's see, man. Uh, for me, uh, formally, uh, you know, for the United States dollar and for all these other currencies, especially let's just say fiat currencies, we are in a recession and we need to be careful with our trading positions, whatever we are positioning ourselves. We need to remember that we are in a recession. Uh, especially for the US dollar, uh, I am expecting a little bit of a change uh, in terms of what we've been seeing over the last couple of months. We should see the United States dollar changing direction, losing its value. And then also we should see the stock market because the market has been very down for the last couple of months. I am expecting the stock market to start you know, rising from this month moving forward. Also, looking at the crypto market, um, the crypto market is one of the most uh, beautiful things that we had last year, but not this year. Crypto market, Bitcoin is down. Um, uh, we do have also some other cryptos uh, that are down. Ethereum, and uh, you mentioned it, Dogecoin also is also down. Uh, we should see whether it should be the stock market or the crypto market, but I strongly believe that uh, this, you know, it's, it's high time the stock market starts giving us results, especially that it has been down for the last couple of months, seven months or so. And then looking at the crypto market as well, uh, for all of you who are in crypto investors, uh, we should be looking to see what the market is going to do over the next couple of months uh, to, to, to two years. And let, me, let me just put it that way. Okay, cool. Now let's look into what ideas do we have today and what is expected in the market. Okay, I'm going to start off with uh, USDCAD, uh, which is one of the setups that we spoke about yesterday. Now, on USDCAD, uh, my expectation, I, I just wrote a message on all uh, groups this morning to say that, hey, uh, we you want okay cool no problem <laughs> okay cool so uh this is what you're having uh this is just the cat this is the market we've been looking at the last couple of uh, days uh, now the reason why i said i was strong is that uh, we i expected the market to change direction from this point and made my stop loss to be a little bit closer you know uh, which what, that was the mistake, yes. but overall in the direction it was okay, it was true. We even uh, went as high as half the trade uh, in terms of you know positivity, but the stop loss was already hit. But listen, uh, we move uh, on this one. Let's see. I think I believe uh, from here we can still expect market to push uh, up from here. Uh, but uh, I am to you know make some confirmations throughout the day as uh, we are expecting. Uh, the news from uh, Canada and also news from, from the U.S. Now, let's see uh, what that has for us this afternoon. Uh, that is uh, the United uh, USDJ Pure, and that is USDK, in fact, uh, Canadian versus uh, dollar, U.S. dollar. Okay, cool. Let's look at this one, uh, which is uh, USDJ Pure uh, versus uh, the Japanese yen. Uh, USDJ PY versus Japanese yen. If you look at it in a smaller time frame, the, what we have at the moment is more like a bullish market. The market is pushing for the first upside. And we want to hop it into that direction, right? 
Now, what can we expect here? We can expect market to push a little bit further down, uh, especially around uh, half past two when the yields are released uh, in, in, uh, in America. And then from there, we're going to hop in and take uh, some long positions from there and move to our top side. This is uh, USDJPY. Also going to be sent to the trade on all groups, right? Okay, cool. Now let's move on to the next one. Um, let's move on to my stuff. I think it is very important to discuss this one, to get CHL, uh, which might be something very important this afternoon since uh, we are expecting some Canadian news, right? So especially the interest rate. So. On this one, guys, uh, we've, we've been having a range here in this market. Uh, very important to highlight this range. And let me raise my hand. Okay, cool. So um, we have like a range in this market in between this zone over here. And then after that, after this, the market started escaping this zone, meaning she said the trust downside. Now, what can be the expectation moving forward? The market is expected, according to me, I'm expecting markets, you know, to push a little bit further or, you know, trust the top side and trade to this level and then continue towards the downside. This was a beautiful range. Here, yeah. uh, this was a beautiful range, uh, but I'm expecting a little bit of a retracement, and then we continue to the downside. This is a very important, important trade for us uh, this afternoon as well, when the market starts, you know, um, especially on the interest rate side of things. Okay, cool. So let's look at uh, some other things as well. We do have uh, Euro, uh, Euro GBP. Euro GBP is one of the trades that I'm looking at. Uh, now, according to this uh, market structure, what we are having at this moment, expecting markets to still approach, you know, some previous levels that we had, and then change direction towards the downside. That is very, very important for us to look at this afternoon. Please, um, uh, not really this afternoon, but throughout this week, right? Cool. So let's look at the other one, which is uh, the British pound versus the Japanese yen. Uh, this one's very, very, very important, but. I really need to discuss this since we had a trade yesterday. Now, our trade did, did not reach. Um, why? Uh, why? Why are you laughing at me? Okay, cool. So, uh, what we have here is this very strong support, which markets never uh, triggered in terms of uh, stop loss. Uh, I didn't. Uh, now, what I advised last night is to say, let's close the trade. I was expecting markets to continue from here, as you can see that we have a little bit of a um, a little bit of a, a you know a bearish market in this format. I was expecting markets to continue in this direction, but market did it, did not do that. So I was wrong to say we must close an entry and then move on with you know uh, with uh, selling this market. So our <laughs> Okay, let's continue. Can you please just let me record this thing? And cut it? <laughs> okay, cool. So, uh, what is the expectation now? Now, I'm going, the only thing I'm going to do is to wait for this market to approach, you know, my desired areas uh, or point of interest. Uh, I'm expecting market to continue uh, further up and then change direction towards the downside. Uh, you know, especially looking at a one hour time frame on this particular market here. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting uh, on a GDP JPY. One more thing is um, one more thing is gonna be and the DSD uh, and the DSD is one of the trades that I'm looking at. Uh, but what can be the expectation after this? What we are looking at? we've had markets coming down, breaking out, you know, breaking some very important levels for the downside. Now this is a little bit of retracement. What should we expect here? Expect market to trade at least this one point eight towards the downside or uh, at any level towards the top side. Those are the kind of trades, those are the kind of setup that we have this afternoon that I wanted to share with you guys. And uh, if there's anything that you want to guys uh, to discuss, please do send it to us on, on, on the groups. Let's discuss group trades and setup. And thank you so much for coming through. I will see you on the other side of the withdrawals. Sha. Thank you for